hold all the pieces of fortress that once stood. Jacob John. It's hard to believe that it was only a little over nine months ago that we were sitting at Olive Garden together for our first date. The spiritual soul connection I had with you was none that I had ever experienced. Fast forward to today, less than a year of knowing you, I get to marry you, my best friend in the entire world. And I'm in love. Yeah, I'm in love. You broke me like the dawn breaks through the night. The didn't even know that it needed light. And I'm in My dear Abby, I am writing this letter to you as an expression of my love for you, as a keepsake for you to treasure, and as a reminder of my commitment to us and our life together. Just filled with joy today. Uh, it's crazy because I thought I'd be, I'm nervous, but in a really good way. We've been looking forward to this moment since we met and we both knew right from the beginning that we were God's gifts to each other. So I'm just super excited to see him and everything worked together perfectly today. And I couldn't be more thankful and we continue to give God the glory in the situation. And I'm just really excited. I'm, I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm full of anxiety and anxious to see her in her dress because it was able to get hemmed in two and a half weeks and it's just going to be perfect. I just know it will be perfect and it's going to be beautiful just like her. I'm feeling like the most special man in the entire world and I can feel her unconditional love that she's always displayed to me through this letter and it's something so special that no one else could ever give me or take away from me. Welcome everybody, we're glad that you are all here. We are here on this uh, somewhat windy and cool but beautiful fall day to celebrate the marriage of Abby and Jake. And we just want you to know that you all in this room are some of their most important people in their lives. It's the reason that you are all here and they wanted to just give a special welcome. It's a really powerful commitment for two people to make, to come together in a marriage ceremony and to say we are together for life. What makes it even more significant is to do this before God. And that's what we're doing here today. And that's where the real strength comes from in your marriage. You are acknowledging publicly that you are better together. Deb and I have fallen in love with Jake just as much as Abby has. 
He's, uh, he's a great guy. Um, talk about just the qualities are never ending. He's got such a great work ethic. He's so generous. He's, you know, he's always there to help. I mean, you don't even have to ask. He just does it. Jake, I, I'm so proud of you too. Jacob John Skircheski, from the moment I met you, I knew something was different about you. The Lord also helped me to understand how important it is that I end up with a real and pure godly man who loves me the way Christ does. Jake, you are that man. You are the epitome of a godly man, a leader, and a lover. You have shown me what real love is. You are patient with me, kind, do not envy, you protect me, lead me, encourage me, and remind me almost daily that you will never give up on me or us. You are my rock. Abby, I will always fight for you. I will always be by your side. And I will always point you in the direction of Christ. By the power vested in me by the state of Minnesota, I am now honored to pronounce you husband and wife. Jake, yes, you may kiss your bride. Yes.